Thank you for joining us for the KHSD Weekly Wrap Up. I'm Erin Briscoe Clark. Education, then action. That is the goal of a pilot project aimed at students brainstorming solutions around climate change called the Carbon Cleanup Initiative. Bakersfield gets affected by air pollution every day and has been for a long time now. A possible solution to this could be the installation of direct air capture units. Bridgeview Junior Jasleen Carr and her group created this public service announcement about how we can decrease pollution and achieve carbon neutrality. California has a goal to reach carbon neutrality by 2045. Having these kinds of technologies in the world like something that's that's probably going to change our lives. That's probably going to change so many other people's lives because it's changing health. There's people out there that can't breathe like the direct air capture units would be able to do filtering air. It would help people that have any lung problems or something like that to be able to breathe. My mother actually has a lung problem, so it could expand her life. East, South and Ridgeview students produced PSAs as part of the Carbon Cleanup Initiative, a collaboration pilot project with the Livermore Lab Foundation. If we invest our time in ways to capture carbon, we can reduce CO2 from spreading to our environment. The project consists of a series of four science standards aligned lessons designed to get students engaged by reviewing data and brainstorming ideas to reduce the state's atmospheric carbon dioxide to neutral levels over the next 23 years. And this project hits especially close to home since Kern County's depleted oil fields have been identified as a prime region for safely burying and storing excess carbon underground. It's based on solutions. It's not just the traditional like you know, change your light bulbs out and we'll solve the whole problem. It's really about, okay, this is how much we need to remove from the air. This is how we're going to do it. This is where we're going to do it. So it feels more relevant. And Bakersfield is one of the spots that they're going to use. Students' newfound knowledge reaches beyond the classroom. The Livermore Lab Foundation is sharing their PSAs on various social media platforms. I just hope that they gain confidence in talking about these things and you know, and actually feel comfortable with when you say, how can we fix climate change? Like they have some answers, even if it's something as little as, you know, how you consume products in the world in your everyday life. I think that all of us after going through this, at least think about it more. It takes a village to save the planet. Why don't we become the change the planet needs? <laughs> It's a nice sense of community and it's great to be surrounded by people, like, well, young women like me coming of age and we're all sort of sharing like the same journey and stuff and you know, it's great. Dozens of seniors from across the district were celebrated Wednesday during the Young Women Empowered for Leadership or YWEL Senior Luncheon. The event returned to Hodel's after pausing for the past two years due to COVID. Students were treated to lunch and listened to special guest speakers from the district and community. They also heard from several of their peers about how the mentorship program has inspired them to become confident leaders in school and Kern County. 15 seniors were also awarded scholarships, including Janae Hudson, who received the Dr. Brenda Lewis scholarship of $1,500. She says the money will be extremely helpful as she plans to attend Stanford following high school. I'm so extremely grateful for this program and just how it's helped me get firsthand experience of what it means to be a black woman and definitely aspire for excellence. The YWEL program was implemented in 2017 with the mission to instill confidence, build respect, promote effective communication, and in inspire college and career goals of young women in the district. A Bakersfield High alum returned to his driller roots to leave his artistic mark on the school. Brandon Thompson is the artist behind a new mural adorning the library walls, and we were there to see his vision come to life. This mural kind of celebrates and highlights your four years of school here. The mural was always something I had in the back of my mind to help create a wonderful ambiance for the kids. I always wanted an alum to be responsible for the mural and his sister Hillary works here in the English department and it just kind of all fell into place. I graduated from Bakersfield High in 2000 and I left, went to to the Air Force, and when I came back about a few years ago, I uh, noticed that a lot of the schools took a lot of the artsy things that you see on the indoors of, of classrooms and they put them on the outside of the buildings, kind of celebrate the heritage. And so 
kind of knew that that was an opportunity that me as an artist would be able to give back to my school through my gift. So we are the only library in the district to have an art gallery inside and that came about a couple decades ago. What Earth is to me is not what Earth is to you. And because we have the art gallery here, the art teacher, Ms. Smart, and I have held an annual poetry and art event in the library. And because our art classes are all directly below the library, it makes sense for that to kind of move up into the library as well. So the art mural is part of that. Because of the color codes, using all grayscales with that deep driller blue and uh, some sparks of white, you're definitely going to know based on the colorway that, that this is a Bakersfield High mural. I kind of left it up to Brandon. I just said we would like something that shows a BHS, that shows the Driller Way, and is representative of our students. This mural kind of is a fun way of saying this is all the knowledge that we packed into our minds over the last few years. And then in the middle of the wall is going to be a TV. But coming outside of the right part of that TV is going to be a lot of movement that kind of highlights all the activities that go on on campus. The unveiling of the finished mural will take place in the coming days. Thank you for watching the KHSD Weekly Wrap-Up. To see more videos from across the district, please visit the Kern High School District Public Information YouTube page. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.